I'm trying to do is with the bill is to stop Cuba from drilling off 50 miles off our beaches. So I've always been very concerned about the environment, uh, especially in Florida. I represent 70 miles of pristine beaches. Uh, you like to fish, my son fishes. So we need to leave it better for the next generation. Uh, so I've always just been you know, concerned about that in general. I think they have a motto even here with our chamber, good life, good business. Good life means a uh, you know, good environment, a uh, beautiful place to live, and I want to keep it that way. Obviously, I think this uh, oil spill is going to have a long-term effect. Probably, we don't even know 10 or 20 years, but let's, and there's a lot of negative effects to that. But just think about one aspect. If they claim if the oil did hit the beach, you lost 80% of your business, as it did up in the panhandle. Uh, but even in our area, our, our businesses, it didn't hit the beach, but the press coverage and the perception of it, uh, and it could someday, but it hasn't. It hasn't rolled up on the beaches. Our, people are telling me in our region they've lost half of their business. So uh, that's who we are. Again, we've got to have clean water, clean beaches. Uh, we've got to have a pristine environment, you know, if we want to be able to attract the people that come down here. It affects real estate, it affects business, it affects everything, uh, and obviously affects our quality of life. Uh, if young people want to fish or anything else, uh, that's who we are. And uh, having a great environment in Florida is critically important, and I'm going to continue to fight for it. So what we're trying to do is there's a company called Ruspo, and uh, they were trying to also, the same company, Spanish company, was trying to build a facility, a gas facility in Iran. We got them to back off there because they're doing business with us. We're looking to do the same thing here. We're trying to get them to back off. They got 20 leases that are in process in the Gulf of Mexico. So for them to be considered, you're not going to drill in, in Cuban waters. And either you're going to you know, uh, do business with us or you're going to do business with Cuba, but you're not going to do business with both. So that's really where we're going with it. Because people ask, why, how could you stop Cuba from drilling in their waters? And that's the way we think in this bill we address that concern. And I think they're going to want to, they're going to side with us. So we're just trying to stop them from drilling. Uh, we're very concerned, I'm very concerned, uh, the impact it would have up on not just the environment in a huge way, but also in terms of our economy. Uh, which counts on clean water, clean air, clean beaches, and that's what we're, you know, really talking about in this bill, is stop Cuba and China from drilling 50 miles off our shores. The bottom line is I'm very, very concerned when you're talking about drilling deeper, because don't, we don't have the technology. I, have, I was concerned before this happened in the Gulf, this implosion, but I'm 10 times more concerned, especially when you look at Cuba, because when you think about it, if something happens, whose problem is it? Is the Chinese going to come fix it or the Cubans? No, we're going to end up uh, having to put the resources in the U.S. So that's why, you know, I'm very concerned and we're trying to, as I've said a couple of times, we're going to do everything we can to try to stop this. Another major spill uh, after this one would be accumulative, and you're talking about it would affect all the Florida Keys. It could get up in the Gulf Coast, but obviously along the Atlantic Coast, you've got large population areas. Uh, would be devastating to the economy, to the environment, to land values, uh, to businesses. So we just, you know, we need to stop it and stop the drilling now, and that's what I'm going to do.